Good evening, Southeast Texas. Possibly, maybe an isolated shower Thursday night, maybe Friday morning. Otherwise, it looks pretty dry coming up this weekend. Chilly and dry. Then Monday, we're going to be watching a disturbance come on in, and it looks like Monday afternoon and evening, late day, that we'll see rain primarily move through the area. A break on Tuesday as that disturbance moves out. Then Wednesday, Wednesday night, got to watch this. A lot of rotational energy in the atmosphere. The question is, uh, will we have enough instability to really get these storms going? Because I do think we're going to have to watch Wednesday uh, as far as that goes. This is ahead of a cold front, and that cold front will dry us out and chill us out as we head towards late next week. So below normal temperatures all the way through Saturday. Sunday is our transition day towards a much warmer scenario. I won't say that it's flip-flop weather, but it's looking like that as high temperatures rise into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Look how the lows really go back up into the 50s and 60s when the lows get in the 60s. Most of the time you flip on the AC. Outside right now, crystal clear skies, light winds, a great night for radiational cooling. That means the heat or the warmth that we saw today from the sun that warmed everything up on the ground, limited as now rising up into the sky, driving the surface temperature down at Packard LaPre. 44 degrees on the roofing 911 sky cam. Again, crystal clear skies. We're watching clouds off towards our west. I think they're going to be headed our way coming up tomorrow afternoon. And current weather watcher numbers, we're at 44 in Port Arthur. MJ Pontregra reporting 45 over in Orange is 47 to the north. In Jasper, 34 in Woodville. Travis Smith reporting 36 and up into North Texas. Teens and 20s up into the Panhandle. Jordan, do you know where Weatherford is? Weatherford to west. Weatherford of, west of Fort Worth. That's exactly right. There's also a Weatherford, Oklahoma, and I have to admit, oh here I am. I have to admit I wasn't completely paying attention because Ashley and I were dealing with a technical issue, but I do know where both Weatherfords are. Well, Weatherford, Texas, this is where my sister moved just a few months ago. They're getting snow right now at 36 degrees. A little bit of sleet and snow up that way. Otherwise, I digress. Temperatures are into the uh, 50s down in South Texas, chilling out into uh, Southeast Texas. And look at there, little bit of a mix over towards Weatherford, a little bit of snow. This disturbance is cruising off to these. Notice the cloud cover. Notice it's headed our way. I think we'll see that coming up tomorrow as that disturbance moves off to the east. It'll be a cloud maker for us tomorrow. Then we'll get another disturbance, maybe a sprinkle coming up uh, Thursday night and Friday. Then this trough comes through and we will see a beautiful chilly weekend across the area. So tonight, future cast showing mostly clear skies and temperatures falling to around freezing or thereabouts. It's going to be a chilly up in the lakes head into the mid to upper 30s in the triangle. And then we'll warm things up. As the clouds come in tomorrow afternoon into the mid to upper 50s to around 60. Slightly choppy seas tomorrow around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast and a northeast wind. Tonight mostly clear, chilly around 30, 31, 32 in the lakes, mid to upper 30s in the triangle. Tomorrow increasing afternoon cloudiness highs, mid to upper 50s to around 60. Uh, green bar day Thursday. Friday we'll see decreasing cloudiness, chilly and breezy with lots of sun in the afternoon. The weekend looks chilly, especially Saturday morning where some of us could see freezing temperatures. 50s for highs there. Sunday warming up. Still going to be a cool day. Then on Monday, rain moving in late day. We'll give it a 60, maybe 70 percent shot, but it is going to be warm and humid as a southerly flow off the Gulf of Mexico brings warmth and moisture in. And again, a 70% coverage as we head on in to, say, Wednesday, Wednesday night. May have to increase it, but there's going to be, again, lots of rotational energy in the atmosphere. So some of those storms could be strong, possibly severe. We've got plenty of time to watch that, though. Yeah.